Hey everyone, what is going on? Saint Dinar here, and we're going to go for the next episode of the Pokemon Heart Gold Randomized Nuzlocke. And it's been a little bit since I've done a recording, so let's have a quick look at where we are with our team. So we've got Slash, obviously, who's probably our MVP right now. We also have Mogger. Okay, Mogger, you can be the MVP. Sorry about that. That was rude of me to say that. Uh, with that cool ability, Bolt Absorb, that I'm quite happy with. Uh, we also have a Gibble, Gibble, Jibble, Jobble. I still don't know how to pronounce you, Jibble, sorry, but I'm going to call you Jibble. Um, still at level 5. I don't think I've even used him in a battle yet, to be honest. Um, sorry about that. And also, Russell Murkrow. Dark Flying type. Uh, with uh, Peck, Astonish, Pursuit, and Haze. Also, Overgrow ability, which is useless, because he doesn't learn any Grass-type moves, usually. However, this is a randomised game, so he could learn a Grass-type move. We've also got an Egg. Why is it not going onto the Egg? It just gets skips past it. We have to go onto the Egg manually. If we have a look at our Egg and see how close we are to hatching, it appears to move occasionally. It may be close to hatching, so we could be about to get something random and new and that egg, which would be absolutely amazing. Let's just turn this sound down in my ear a little bit, because that's quite loud. Also, I suppose I should probably make sure that you can hear what I can hear, to be honest. Oh yeah, it looks like it's coming through. Cool. So our next move then is up to Golden Rod City. We've already had an encounter in this area, so there's nothing to be done here. Uh, apart from battle trainers, which I am up for doing. Let's see what healing items I've got, or do I need to go back to the... Now, well, you know what? We'll use a super potion on Russell Crow. Uh, and then we'll put Russell Crow up front. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to use a super potion on Slash yet. We'll see what happens. Let's get into a few battles and uh, get some experience then, ready for the next gym. I'm pretty. If I remember, Goldenrod does have a gym, but I don't remember what type it is. Is it rock? I seem to remember it having a gym though, so there's a gym coming up. Let's go for uh, Porygon's a normal type. Let's go for Peck. So low enough level that I should be able to smash this thing, I would have thought. Sharpen, I guess that raises attack. Seems sensible, yeah. Back on the again. Easy. I love the cries of the first generation Pokemon. Really nostalgic. Oh, he's got a zap dos. Fuck's sake. Right, what do I have that can beat this? Apart from probably nothing. Oh man. Sand attack, cut tackle. I don't want you. What moves have you got? Peck astonished. Hmm. None of these things are particularly useful. We're well, staying with Russell Crowe, though. Uh, if it's got a strong electric type move, it's going to be this is going to be dangerous. But my other good Pokemon are water types as well, and I don't really want to risk them. Let's go for Pursuit. I'm not going to do much because I know it's not leading battle, which is what Pursuit is for. It's actually not bad. Flex fine, because I'm flying tight, so that's neutral. Should be able to pursue it to death, I would have thought, before it does too much damage. Thunder Wave. Oh. That could be okay. Hopefully. As long as we actually get through it and attack. Ah, oh, and it goes for Thunder Shark. It's a good tactic. And we hold it off as long as we hit, which we don't. Okay, so we're going to have to switch. Um, now, Slash is Rock. Water type. Does that mean it's weak to electric though? Wait, don't I have something that can absorb electric moves? Is that Mogger? Restores HP if hit by an electric move. You absolute beauty, Mogger! <laughs> Love ya! Get out there! Thunder Shock, restores the HP. Perfect. Oh, I can't believe how well that just went. And I think that was part to uh, fly in, so this Aurora Beam. There we go. Perfect. 
Muscle Crow goes to level 13. Mago gets a few points as well. Oh, he's got another one, Ninkana. Uh, I've got Ice Bug type Ninkana. I think that means it's weak to Ice. Maybe? We'll soon find out. Yeah, down in one. Thank you very much. And next we have... Oh, he's still going. Feel is water type. Water psychic? Just water? Ah, I just don't know. But it is level 10, which is a bit of a scary level, so let's think about this. Let's go for Astonish. It uses Charm, which is going to, what, lower my attack or my defense? Attack, right. And I'm paralyzed, so I can't do anything, so now that I've put Crow in so he can actually get some XP from the battle, we'll get Mogger back at. Charm again to lower attack, but I think 18 ver level 18 versus level 10. I'm not too worried. We'll go for my ice grip. Huh. And a critical hit. Probably that has made the difference. It goes. Thanks, Mike. Oh, I love Mike's sprite. Right, next. Wait a second. Let's just have a look at our bag. Get a super potion down on Muscle Crow. I think I should be alright for the items to get me to Golden Rod. That's another battle with uh, Baldy Slappard over here. I've just got my Pokemon back from daycare. That's good. Wait, you were a Baldy Slappard a second ago, yo. Now you got to follow him here. Bell Sprout, that's cool. You're a grass type, I'm flying type. That's, you, 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 you don't scare me. Effective. Down in one again. Level 14 is good. Christian goes for Drowsy Psychic type. Uh, keep battling. Because I think I've got a dark type move. And that's good for Psychic. Yeah, pursuit. That's the one. Pam does jack shit. Pursuit. Super effective. Yeah, it's not the strongest move, so I'm not surprised it takes a couple of games. That's cool. Ah, paralysis coming in. It's also making me slower. If, this, if I wasn't paralysed right now, I'd be outspeeding this drowsy here by a mile. Could just get some lucky hits on me here. Tries to disable, doesn't work. The suit will finish it off. Easy. Experience for Russell as well. I can see that you're going to be uh, useful, Russell. Once I'm in wing attack, yeah, I'll have that. Probably for Peck, I would have thought. Let's just have a look at it. 60, 100, and it's a physical move. 35, 100, and it's a physical move. So, so no brainer that one. And there goes Christine, the man with here, but all of a sudden, there And yeah, let's take on this guy too. Does not looking too scary, really. You're best in your class at Pokemon, but I am not in your class. This is Kim with a Probabas. Okay, that's kind of scary. Or is it? Am I scared about that? Hmm. Mogger can get out there and finish him up, I'm sure. I don't really know what type it is, to be honest. Magnum Bomb, that's a steel time move. Doesn't do much. Uh, let's try it over again. Oh shit. I don't know what, I feel like it's a rock type. Maybe it's rock steel now. It evolved. I really don't know. Oh, what? Oh, and it's got static as its random bloody ability. Okay, Google. What type is Proba? <laughs> what type is Proba Pass? What type is Probo Pass? 
rock and steel, thank you. Well, if it's rock first, then isn't it weak to water? Thanks, Google. Stop listening. I don't trust you. Oh, I'm going to get swapped out for character. I'm sure they didn't see you coming. Not very effective. Uh, Aura Beam will be, though. The captain is a dark grass. Who knows? Dark poison? Oh, sure, no. Aura Beam's going to finish it off anyway. Um, yeah, just for good measure. <coughs> oh dear. Oh, god damn this paralysis. Absorb and I'm a water type, so that's pretty going to be a fit. Oh, man. At least we hit the aura beam this time, which means we're going to finish it. Yeah, down it goes. Use it. Oh, good chunk of experience for that as well. Mud shots. Oh, yeah, we probably will learn that to be fair. Let's just have a look at that here. It's 595 accuracy. Attacks by hurling a blob of mud at the foe. Hmm. Get rid of Leah. I think that's a special attack, which is a bit funny because I feel like that should be physical. And I think I'm a physical attacker here, not a. So, Probobus is coming back out. I think we can stay in, because it's not going to do too much to us. Bubble Beam in. He's got a cracking moustache, I've got to say. Probobus, I'm very impressed. Ah, Paralysis again. Iron Defense shouldn't make any difference. This is a special attack. And it hits, and he goes down, and that's the end of the battle. Thank you for coming. And youngster Kim's gone, oh, better trainers, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we know. <sighs> if you transferred to my class, you'd, I'd become the second best student. Yes, you would, that's right. Yes, you could have my phone number. <laughs> Just don't call me because I don't want to come back and battle you. I have no interest in that. Uh, oh, it's Lyra's grandpa that runs the daycare centre. Interesting. Good work, Grandpa. The Pokemon you raised for me has been as healthy as can be. You look fit too, Creeper. Hey, Saint. Hi. Let me introduce you. This is Saint. He's a trainer. He seems to be getting better at raising Pokemon. Well, not as good as you, Grandpa, of course. Follow me, Saint. I know what a bloody daycare centre is, Lyra. Grandma, let me introduce my friend. This is Saint. Aha, this is your boyfriend. Fuck off, Mama. I see him. Hmm. What, Grandma? What are you talking about? He just happens to live nearby. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks for introducing me to you, Grandma. I feel like we're a real couple now. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, take... Ah, oh, see? You, you're denying that I'm your boyfriend, Lyra, but then you want my number, you know? It's... It's all getting a little bit uh, suspicious around here. Uh, I might actually leave a Pokemon with these. Why not? We can raise Pokemon for you. Yes. And we will leave Gibble. Thank you. No, I know. I don't want to raise another. I'm sorry. That was an uh, accident. Let's go. I'm feeling like this egg's going to be any time soon. Ah, oh, what do you want? I have an idea. I'll give you a... Mm. <sighs> Another old man. Another phone number. Uh, now an old lady in a phone number. Ugh. Fuck off. Uh, do I want to fight with the police? No, because I am not Black Lives Matter. I'm on patrol for suspicious individuals. Well, that's not me, so that's okay. This is a... Ooh, item. Aeroblast. That's a very good flying type move. Which I could give to my Murkrow. Maybe I'll wait to see if I can get high enough level to like a Mr. Queen, you are a bug type. What a beastly design that is. Uh, let's get him up against that. 
Should be weak to the flying type, so. That seems to make sense. Vespi Quen! Oh, Vespi Quen! Not even Vespi Queen. I've been saying that wrong all this time. Oh dear. Nah, I'm not even, it's not even worth battling. Let's get away. Um, can't be asked about that guy. Or I'll come back after I've healed up. It's probably a better thing to do. Welcome to Goldenrod City. Thank you very much. So let's see what the people in here have got. That guy over there looks like he's got a DS. So let's go and see what game he's playing, shall we? Hey dude! The Coliseum upstairs is for Link Battles. Oh. You're not interested. Well that fat boy not staying over here. I wonder how many kinds of Pokemon there are in the world. Yeah, there's more than that. But yeah. High level Pokemon doesn't always win. Okay. So these uh, these people are useless, basically. Let's go and have a battle with this guy down here, just to uh, get some extra experience. I'm confident in my ability to raise Pokemon want to see. Yes! I do want to see. It's Camper Florentino, which is a lovely Italian name. And he sends out a book type sort of, which is good, because that means a wing attack is going to put that way down. Down it goes. No problem. One rank three experience is pretty good. Well, not quite enough for the level, but that's all right. No, you didn't train. Well, you did. I mean, that's the final evolution of that evolution line. What you didn't do was get a good Pokemon to begin with. That's the problem there, Campo Florentino. Whatever your fucking name is. Right. So. Let's go and have a look around the buildings. Oh, I've just seen a bike shop down there. That's good. Department store is... Oh, so this is a department store. I'm not interested in that right now. We'll come back to that later. In fact, I'll stock up on items and stuff uh, off camera because that makes a lot more sense. That's the game corner. I don't think that has any relevance in this game at all. I seem to remember this being like Bill's house. Yeah, Bill's mum's house. That's the one. And this dude here. I'm not going in the underground. This is one big town. I don't know where anything is. Well, there's nothing down where you are, so... I'll try and move. Let's go and see the bike shop. Uh, because he's going to give me a bike! What up, dude? Oh no, I opened my branch here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Of course I will. No wonder you can't sell any bicycles. You're giving them away for free. For free! Yes, so let's assign our bicycle as the key item that we wish to be able to ride with just the press of the Y button. And we're off. Well, this bike's awful. I don't care about what's going on in there. Right, so what do I actually want to do here? I want to find... Yeah, I want to find the gym. And then I want to find the flower shop. I think that pretty much sums it up. What's this? Oh, trade center and stuff. Don't care about that. Can't use it. This is the radio tower. What do you want best? Scram! Sorry, dude. Uh, okay, there's definitely something useful in here. Hi, my name's Whitney. I heard about the quiz to win a radio card, but this quiz is so hard. Whitney's the gym leader. I remember you. So, let's win the radio card by getting this quiz right. I feel like after we do that might be when she goes back to the gym so we can battle her. Can you check the time map with the poker gear? Yes, you can. See, Pokemon Master. I know where to find a map. Question two. Mid arena can only be female. So true. Kurt uses apricots as ingredients. No, he uses apricorns. Fourth question. It's impossible to use a TM on Magikarp. I don't know, you know. Let me say, yes, it is true. 
Yes, nice one. In Professor X's popular show, Pokemon Talk, is he on with Marie? Well, it's either like Marie or Mary. Yes. Ah, oh, you bastard! Well, let's do it again. God damn it. First question. Can you check the time map? Yes. Yes. No. Go down. No. So that's what you say on Magic Park. Yes. And the next one is no. Ding, 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 prize. Here's your prize, a radio card. Now we can put music on. And now Whitney's going to, like, gush all over us. Well, you did it. I thought the answer to the third question was surely apricots. Oops, it's time to get back to the gym. Cheers, Whitney. Whitney, baby, one more time. Right, so let's... I mean, what... Where do I find the... Okay, go on poker gear. Read... No, that's phone. There's the radio. Pokemon music, Pokemon talk. Serial radio drama. Really? Interesting. I'm gonna go for Pokemon music, thank you. I love Mary from Pokemon Talk. I don't know what she sounds like though. Ben is a fabulous DJ. I want someone to give me the um, the thing where you can change the music to old school music, but I don't remember what it is. Lullabies on the radio will make wild Pokemon sleepy. That's why you don't see many Pokemon when the radio plays Lullabies on the grass. Thanks. Save up the blue card points for choice prizes. I'm Buena. Do you know about the radio show called Buena's Password? If you can tell me the password from the program, you'll earn points. Save up those points and trade with the sweet leader. There's some choice prizes. Here you go. It's your very important card. Thank you. Thank you for listening in every day. Tune into my password show. Your put is zero. So if I listen into the show right now, this is what I need to know. These, these are these are the pressing questions. Will I get a password? That's all I need to know. We're always watching you. It's time for trainer profiles. This boy loves bug types. Silver drama, documentaries and drama. So, actually, where is, where's this fucking password show that you're telling me about then? Because I'm not seeing it. Or are you lying to me? This is this is the question. Pokemon, yeah, you, you, you're you lying, bitch. That, that's the deal here. You're, you're a lying bitch. <sighs> and I can't go up there yet, and what you've got. Radio is good, you know. Cool music and Pokemon information. Would be they call that TV call by. And there's a Jigglypuff. Just for anybody who didn't see that Jigglypuff. And there's a Jigglypuff. Oh, can I get Lottery here as well? Yes. Would you like to check today's lucky numbers? Yes. Okay, let's look at. Okay, okay. Yay! Russell Crowe matches your lotto ticket number. The last digit match, so you get the fourth prize, Ultra Ball. That's sick. Thank you. Do you visit again? Well, that was worth, uh, worth a pump, wasn't it? Right, so, as Whitney's now gone back to the gym, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that that's our next move. Oh, actually, maybe this is a grass-type gym. Not that it matters, I suppose, because it's randomised. Normal type, okay. So... How do we get to her? Stay up here and have a quick look around, see what the best route is. Down here. Can I go across there? Yes, I can. Can I go up here? Yes, I can. That's just going to lead right back there, so. I want to go up and around Yeah, so I'm only going to have to do two gym battles to get through here. It's useful. 
So I don't really want to battle everybody, I want to get through this and get the badge. And out comes Squirtle. Thinking Squirtle's not going to be too scary, even though it's a higher level. Should have evolved that by now, I'm just saying. Let's go for Wing Attack and see where we end up. Looking at the levels. Oh, it's got poison. No, oh, effect spore. Fuck's sake. Looking at the levels of the trainers then, I'm guessing the leader's going to have 20, 21, 22. Uh, and we're going to be slightly under that. Which isn't too worrying. It's not too bad. It should be okay. But if that's a critical hit. Poison comes as well. Now he's going to be a little bit careful. Wing Attack's going to finish it off. Do I bother with an antidote? Yes, because before I actually battle the leader, I will go and get more. I'll go and buy more stuff. So let's uh, just have a look in the bag. I'm actually using the touch screen for a change here. up against something dangerous, then I can just swap out. Oh shit. Oh no, that's alright. I can still go back around. That's cool. Oh, not that it matters, because I'm leaving to go and heal up before I, before I finish anyway. Last Leo sent out Bulbasaur. A Squirtle and then a Bulbasaur straight after. Like, what are the chances? Uh, you're a grass type. I've got flying type moves. Bulbasaur, by the way, is me. Like, Bulbasaur is pretty much my dad. My dad's a Venusaur and I'm a Bulbasaur, if we're honest. Next one's Loud Red. Man, I want a Bulbasaur on my team. Loud Red's a normal type. Let's go with... Wait, Ghost doesn't affect normal. Come on. Fucking Pokemon Master. Yeah, right. Wing Attack then! Is. Oh, I'm gonna let that's easy. Unless that's gonna level my attack. No, oh, how high and scissor time. It's not gonna get a chance to hit me because I have speed, and uh, hopefully, with a good roll, which I get, that will uh, sort me out. And level 17. Getting nice and prepared for this gym now. Next, Crawdorn. Mog is probably the best choice there. Crawdorn's a pure water type. Or is it water and dark at this point? I don't really know. Well, let's get the mud shots in, lower its speed. We're already faster than it's what we just learned, so I don't need to do that again. And we will get in with Bicycle. I think probably the best option. I don't know, I don't really know. She's going to keep using Harden, which is going to make things difficult, but I don't think it's going to have any. Oh, the critical hit sorts me out anyway. I didn't think it was going to have anything that was going to hit particularly hard, so it wasn't that scary. But it's good to know that we're safe, so no sweat. And there goes Last Leo. Right, nice one. I'm going to nip back to the uh, Pokemon Center hill, and we'll be right back. Welcome back, and it is time to take on Whitney and get our second... Second? Third? Third gym badge. Third gym badge. Violet City, Azalea Town, Goldenrod City. Third gym badge! Number three! Okay. Here we go. Hey, I'm Whitney. You, I saw you at the radio tower just now. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. Let's see what her name actually is. Lawrence. You fucking faker, Whitney. Oh my god, what was that jump? And she's got a whiskash. Hot water. Water electric? Water ground? Either way, we're switching out to Mugger. She's definitely going to be the best option. If it has got electric moves, she's going to soak that up. Water gun's not going to hurt too much, so that's cool. And we can test the waters a little bit here, start with one shot. 
Okay, so it looks like ground type then, because it's got mud bomb. Ooh! That's nasty. So that's gonna lower the speed a bit. Right, okay. We've got to think about this now. Because another, another mud bomb would finish Mogger off, I think. I don't know, actually, it hit a water gun first and I didn't see what HP it was, so maybe actually. Right, that's going to be super effective, but it's okay, and I can live another one as long as it doesn't... Well, what I can do, though, is absorb, which is going to be super effective. Do some de... Oh, that's decent. That's all right. Which means I can live another mud bomb. 15. Okay, I can't survive another one of them. While I was at the Pokemon Center, by the way, I also stopped up a few super potions. So let's go with Slash first. So that Mud Bomb's doing quite a lot, and I think Slash is the best. Because I can take one. Survive it. Oh, accuracy going down as well, though. And then hit it with Absorb. And then I can survive another until before I have to heal again. So I'm still getting damage off. Critical hits would be great right now. So I can definitely survive another one. Oh man, that is doing so much. With the accuracy beam though, I can't take any chances. So I've got to heal up in case I miss one. Even though I outspeed, I'm not risking missing and then losing Slash. So we heal up again. Whiskash goes in with Mud Bomb. Again, it's pretty beasty, but we can use Absorb, and it hits. Accuracy is not going down that far, clearly. Now, that, that's the one. Thank goodness for that. That was scary. Something less scary next, please. XP for everyone. Slash gets more. 20. Beautiful. Next. War Turtle. Okay. Uh, what? Yeah, well, we're rock water, so we. I think, what? We, we're either resist or we're neutral to that, but I've got to absorb still, so that's super effective. So I keep knocking my health back up a little bit and absorbing. Wow, really didn't do that much. His bike does more. Ah, now the accuracy lowered. Starts to kick in. Right, so that's a dark type move by. I don't know what. Oh. Alright, so I'm going to switch Russell in. See how that goes, and if that's not going too well, I'll heal up. Okay, so I can I can survive a couple of bites, that's good. Cool. Let's go for. Wing attack. That's not bad. Water gun is probably going to be more powerful than the fire was, yeah. Right. Uh, I don't think she's got another Pokemon after this, so I, I think I'm not under too much pressure to go full out with my potion and stuff. I think I can just try and batter her. So that water gun, and then a strike pursuit as well, just in case that was more. Nah, I think I think the uh, uh, withdrawal. That's actually a gift. It hires its defense, but it means I can get another attacking move off and lower it a bit more. There we go. Now it goes for a water gun, and I should. I mean, I'm gonna survive that. Ah. I'm not taking the risk. I could have gone for it then, and if it hits, I'd definitely beat it, but by doing that, I risk it missing and then it hitting me in retaliation. Lawrence uses a super potion as well, so we're back to the start, basically. Right. I don't remember what Haze does. Should we try that? Haze. All stat changes were eliminated. Ah, so that defense rates that it did, that doesn't, it's 
that's not in play anymore. So that could be useful. Yeah, and that wing attack's doing enough damage. There's the withdraw again. Which again, to me that's just a gift because it means I can get off some more powerful moves. Ah, uh, a few of them. So what did what damage did that do? Yeah, too much. I can't risk. See, now what I'm risking is running out of potions before I can get this thing down and having to sacrifice somebody. War Turtle goes for Water Gun again. That's doing a lot of damage, man. Wing attack again. Oh, the critical hit could be very important. There's the water gun. Right, so... Yeah, I'm going to have to use that last super potion because I just don't want to risk missing a move and then losing Muscle Crow. There it is. No, she's got another super potion! You're fucking kidding me! God damn it! Ah! Ah, what am I gonna do with this? Let's try Astonish, see how that goes. Absolutely fuck all. But it goes for Withdraw, which is the highest defense even more. Brilliant. I have nothing to give against this thing. Goes for withdraw again. That could, uh, it could be shit and it could be good. Much shot will be more beam vice grip. Vice grip probably the best move I've got on this tier against the wall. Tour. And even that's not doing anything. Fight. Uh, fuck's sake. Right. We have to go back in with our uh, Russ. Come on, withdraw again. Goes for bite. That's not very effective. And it still does nearly as much as the fucking water gun now. Oh, I'm losing my shit here. Right, wing attack. No! Right, withdraw, that's heightening its normal defence. So maybe now pursuit might actually be more effective than. Fuck, pursuit's a physical move as well. I've lost, I can't beat it. So unbelievable. I don't have a way to beat it. I've got to get seriously lucky. Now I'm faster than it. This is this is true. This has to be true. The best I can do is go for absorb. And hope that I can survive a couple of whatever it throws. Bye. We survive. Oh shit. Absorb again. Come on, critical hit, critical hit, critical hit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! God damn this gym. I'm, I can't beat it. Oh, do I outspeed it now? Therefore, can I finish it off? Ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. Yes! Thank God for that! Jesus! Ugh, yeah, you're telling me. Oh, I've just like destroyed my whole team for that gym. So that's Crow and Slash gone, and we're back to where we began. Wah, wah, snivel hick you meanie. Uh, we have to go back to this bitch because I uh, go back and talk to her. She's a, she's a bit little bitch, but she'll stop crying soon. I'll go and say hello. Sniff, what do you want, a badge? Oh yeah, there you go, have a badge. Cheers, wit wit. Wit wit. Right, thankfully, I think we're in a good place to... Hang on, 10.45. Oh, 
which is a track. Uh, poke after. Oh, yeah, I don't care about that. See ya. Right. So, because we've just. Getting past Goldenrod. There's, there's some good things that are going to happen right now, and they are. We're going to go to. We're going to go north of here and go and encounter the. Oh, what's it called? The tree. Pseudo Wudo. We're going to go and encounter Pseudo Wudo. And usually. Uh, obviously, that's like a, I think it's a level 20 or 25 pseudo Wudo, but it's going to be randomised. So there's a random Pokemon that we're going to get, uh, and there's a random Pokemon that you're supposed to take and then give to a guy who gives you a TM in return. But you can just keep a Pokemon, uh, and that is like on the route between Goldenrod and the park, I think. And I'm pretty sure that you can just keep that and train it, and it counts as a traded Pokemon as well. So it grows extra like extra fast. So really, this still opportunities here. It's not all over. We can still do it. At least we got the badge. And uh, yeah, we can come back next time and sort it all out. Oh, God damn it. Also, oh yeah, I've got a master wall, which means that whatever we get, sort of whatever. Um, if, if something good pops up, but I think, yeah, you know what? It's worth throwing a Master Ball because this is going to strengthen my team. It's worth, I'll, I'll be able to just chuck it. And I've got my egg, which is going to give me something random as well. You know what? This isn't as bad as it looks. Everything's going to work out in the end. I've got a good feeling about it. So thank you all for watching. Fuck you, microphone. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you all next time. And we're going to go north of Goldenrod, go and get the Sudowoodo encounter and make our way to the next city, which is, what, Ecruteague, maybe? Maybe. See you later.